Unsolved 1998, the case of 50-year-old Esmond Lewis. Esmond Lewis was stabbed to death at his flat in Carey Gardens, Battersea, on the 8th of February 1998. A man was arrested for his murder, but whilst in police custody and being left alone for ten minutes, he tried to hang himself. He was left disabled and unable to instruct his defence lawyers, and at the court case the judge stated that they had to determine whether the man killed Esmond Lewis, but directed the jury to acquit him on the grounds that there was insufficient evidence. Esmond Lewis was found dead in his flat in a pool of blood. He was last seen coming back from a regular visit to Guy's Hospital on the 6th of February 1998, where he was being regularly treated for weak kidneys. He had been stabbed 17 times about the head and neck. The mother of the man that was acquitted of his murder had lived near to Kerry Gardens, where Esmond Lewis had lived. It was also heard that the man's fingerprints were found in Esmond Lewis's flat, as well as on cigarette butts that indicated that he had been there shortly before the murder. It was said that the man that was arrested for the murder had been attempting to rob Esmond Lewis. The man that was acquitted had lived in Bindley House on Highcliffe Drive in Roehampton and was later arrested on the 17th of March 1998 and taken to Norwood Police Station. He then asked that his mother was told of his arrest and asked for a solicitor. After that he was left in the cell for about ten minutes, in which time he tried to hang himself. He was found to have had no pulse and was not breathing, and was then taken to Queen Mary's Hospital in Roehampton, where he was put into the intensive care unit, where he was brought back to life. However, he was left disabled and not able to take part in his trial after a jury heard that he was unfit to be tried, and unable to say what his defence was. It was heard at the trial that if the jury found that the man had committed the act, that he would be committed to a hospital until such a time that he could be tried. But the following's acquittal, there would be no requirement for him to face any future trial. Nothing more is known about how Esmond Lewis came to be beaten to death, or whether anyone else was involved, and this case is still unsolved to this day.